starting with conversion between capacities. So when I mean capacities, I'm talking about milliliters, centiliters, liters, kiloliters, and megaliters. You might not have heard of some of them, like megaliters, but this is sometimes what we use when we talk about really large capacities. And milliliters when we have really little, um, really little small amounts of capacity. Okay, so it goes in that order. I'm trying to get used to those symbols. Usually we, you know what capacity is, the amount of something, the volume of something, that's what we're trying to measure here. Now, to go from one capacity, one state of the capacity, one unit, to another unit, you gotta know the correct conversions. So, I'll show you over here. This is a little diagram that you may want to memorize. You don't necessarily have to memorize it, you may have your own way of memorizing it, but this will give you a brief outline of everything. Okay, so how to convert from milliliters to centiliters, centiliters to liters, etc. Okay, so watch carefully. If I'm going from milliliters to centiliters, what we do is we divide by 10. Okay, so the idea is this, from small to large, okay, so small to large, small to large, small to large, from going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we always divide, okay, we always divide. Small to large is division. Now, but they have different sums though. From milliliters to centiliters, we divide by 10. Centiliters to liters by 100. Liters to kiloliters, 1,000. And kiloliters to megaliters is also 1,000. Do you remember the word kilo? Kilo refers to 1,000. So milliliters to liters, it has a thousand, can you see that milliliters to cent, we go through centiliters and then we go through liters. So it's divided by 10 and a hundred, so in thousand in total. And you can see that liters to kiloliters is also a thousand. Kiloliters to megaliters is also a thousand. Okay, so I don't know, trying to find your own way of memorizing these, it can get a bit confusing at times. Now, the other way around, when we go from a large unit to a smaller unit, so megaliters to kiloliters, kiloliters to liters, etc., we multiply, multiply by some number. Now you're gonna memorize these numbers. From megaliters to kiloliters by a thousand, it's actually the same number, same number that we divided by from going small to large. So mega to kilo, a thousand, kiloliters to liters, a thousand, liters to centiliters by a hundred, and centiliters to milliliters by 10. Okay, so guys, you won't have too much trouble in memorizing where we multiply by 10 and what's 100, what's 1000. I don't think that's gonna be a big problem, but make sure you remember, small unit to large, divide. Large unit to small, multiply. That's the key thing, okay? So let me go through some most important little facts that's pretty much already represented here, is one liter is a thousand milliliters. The reason why I'm putting some of these down is because these are the ones that are most frequently used and that most frequently come out in exam questions. So remember this, remember the ones that I'm, just, I'm talking about next, um, very, very specifically. So one liter is a thousand milliliters. One liter is also a hundred centiliters. You can call it a hundred centiliters, okay? But you can also see from this diagram. One liter to centiliters, we say, we say multiply. So one times 100 is 100. That's why one liter is 100. So you can pretty much get everything from this diagram. So that's that. The next one is one kiloliter is 1,000 liters. And as I said, kilo means 1,000. So we simply multiply by 1,000. Kilo to liters, 1,000, okay? And another one, one megaliter is a thousand kiloliters. Okay, megaliter to kiloliter, a thousand. All right, 